it's a pleasure to be here today uh, with some friends from the P4 Council, um, Senator Joe Markley, to talk about what we believe is ensuring that democracy reigns, making sure that the P4 Council has the opportunity to vote for which union will represent them. We all witnessed under Governor Loy the process with the, with the concessions. And what can happen during that process? When the unions voted down the concession package, and then quickly it turned to new rules uh, modified by the governor and a few people in a back room. The outcome was many councils had concerns over the result, which they believe uh, wasn't fair, the integrity would be questioned, and we're proud to be here today to really push the governor, the state, and the union to allow these members, the 2,500 members of the P4 Council, to have their day where they can vote and decide their future within the union. And the unfortunate thing is we're witnessing government resources being utilized to question them and to challenge their right and their choice. And it's, it's really not fair. We are now uh, Barbara Resnick, who's working very hard for these members to make sure they end up having a choice and democracy reigns. Barbara, thank you. Thank you. First of all, I would like to just say thank you very much to Representative Kutu and Senator Markley for giving us this opportunity and for coming out in support of these members and thousands of other members who have also filed petitions this year to be granted what, in our opinion, is a fundamental, basic, American democratic right to have an opportunity to decide who it is that represents you. As a state employee, you are mandated, required, to take money out of your pocket every month to pay to a union representative to represent you. And to be denied the right to ever have an option to, to choose who that representative is, is fundamentally un-American, fundamentally unfair. Speaker, um, and, and let's be very clear, we're talking thousands of state employees are looking for the opportunity to vote to choose which union will represent them in the future. Uh, I will must admit, there are other members from other councils now that are reaching out to me, which is an interesting uh, dynamic, uh, and asking me, can I speak to their members? Uh, which is great, because this is all about democracy. And we know the process. We have rules, statutes, and a constitution that we have to follow. And these members have followed all the rules. I feel like I'm getting too much practice at witnessing outrages in this state. And I think this is another one. And what bothers me about it is uh, that one of the keys to having a healthy situation with unions is not to have the government putting its thumb on the scales. And that's obviously what's happened here. It's become an interest of the state government to choose uh, to support one union at the expense of its very membership. And as you heard, at the expense of the rights of its membership to make decisions about their own future and where their own funds will go. And I feel like the legislature, to some extent, has been hoodwinked in this process. Uh, we had a, a contract of, before us which uh, the legislative leadership chose not to ratify, and in the course of that, of that non-action, uh, apparently, we made a decision about the way that this election would proceed, without our knowledge and without a full disclosure of the fact that a change was being made in the, uh, in the, in the terms of this union arrangement. Uh, it's a very suspicious, a very disturbing relation, a situation, and I think particularly the fact that, as Chris said, state resources are being p used to pay private attorneys to fight against these union members' rights to make their own decision. Um, it's brazen to my mind. Um, it is, uh, it's wrong, and it should not be allowed to stand. And we will do our best to make sure that it is not allowed to stand. Uh, who's been a leader for many years, someone who I met a few years ago at one of the summer um, parties for the entity, uh, and I met many of their members at these events, uh, John Vitale. John. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> I'd like to thank Chris and Joe for standing up for us. And, and speaking for my colleagues, I would just like to say all we're asking for is the right to vote. Very fundamental. 
We did what we were supposed to do, and all we're asking for is a right to vote. Thank you.